Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna make another Shopify topic, which is very, very common for anyone who has a Shopify store, which is having custom forms, a form or custom forms. So if you guys know the built-in custom forms, for example, in Shopify, which is what you see right here, is very, very limited. You just get a few fields, name, email, phone number, comment. The customer fills it out and then you get an email as a business, that's it. It doesn't get saved anywhere, you can't customize anything, it's very limited in design and you have to ask a developer to customize things and they're very, very limited with what they can do. Unless they build an app or something like that, which is very costly. So, what do I suggest? Um, I suggest for you guys to go to the App Store and actually find a contact form app that does a lot more things to, uh, for you guys. So the one we're gonna show in this video is something we use for multiple projects, multiple sites, but you can do your own research. You like it, you can use it. Others, we're not, uh, it's not our company or anything like that. Uh, I really like this one for the price, for the functionality, it's great. Um, and let's jump into it, okay? So it's called Hulk Form Builder. It's very simple, it's one of the apps in the store. Um, so how did I make something like this? How did I make something that instead of the very basic name, email, phone number, just email the business when they fill out and that's it. Don't save it, don't customize it. How did I build this one? Uh, and this one I built within two, two or three minutes. So for example, I have regular fields that you can fill out. I have drop down selections, I can edit those. I can allow the customer to upload files, select from multiple choices. If they select from some of the choices, they can get additional fields that open up, they can review, and they can do a ton more things. So, so what I wanna do is I wanna show to you guys this Hulk form builder, a little bit about it. I'm not gonna go through the full details, but again, as always in this channel, if you have any questions, comment, and we're, we're here to answer. We're here to go in very detail, very specific questions and help everybody make a community, okay? So let's jump in, let's show how we made something like this and show you a few more things that might be interesting for you guys. Um, let's jump into it, okay? So first thing, uh, what you do is that you have to go to the App Store, install it, you have to select a plan, there's different plans, and you guys can, can check it out right here. Okay, there's pricing right here, you can see it. Right here, there's a free one, there's a Pro, and there's a Pro Plus. I suggest having the, the paid ones because they have features, but based on your requirements, you'll be able to see what the free does not include and what the Pro and the other Pros uh, do include, okay? Uh, so you can jump into that. So uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to the Hulk form builder. I'm gonna go to forms here, or I can go here. And I actually created multiple forms. So one good thing about this is you can make as many forms as you want, right? You can make 20 forms, 10 forms, two forms, one form, etc. And you can very easily do it without a developer unless you need some very specific customizations, which some you can actually do. So let's edit this form right here. Okay, now I'm gonna edit the form. Now I can actually set up all my setup form, my setup, my content, these are where I specify the fields and some of the layout changes that I wanna do without a developer. You can preview the form in mobile or desktop, you can see some differences, etc. So I'm gonna go over the most important things that you have here. Okay, so number one, content. So if you go to form elements, this is where you're gonna build the contact form. You're gonna specify which fields, which things you want customers or visitors to fill out, which, which are mandatory, which are optional, which are drop downs and regular fields and uploads and all that kind of stuff. And, all you, and you can also change the order very easily by dragging them, right? If I want last name first, etc. You can translate them, you can do a lot of different things. So let's look at a, a few things for setup. So for example, for this simple text field, I can actually open it up cl by clicking here. I can change the name of the field and I can actually put something inside. For example, please specify, right? If I do that, I click aside, you can have this detail. I can specify if it's required, I can do some custom coding, I can attach it to some CSS or something like that if my developer has special layouts, okay? And I can have any additional messaging. For example, don't forget to, you know, something, whatever it might be, okay? So I can specify some instructions or other below, right? That's an interesting thing. Okay, uh, for drop down menus, I can specify that it's a drop down type, right? This is the name of the field and this is the type of field. So this is a drop down, this is a regular text line, this is an image upload, this is a radio button, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, um, so I can specify here is a required and the values. Do you see here all these values? If I add more values below, for example, um, other, 
If I go here, you'll see other appears. I can change the order. Very, very simple. It's really, really easy. Okay. Um, and then other things, etc. So let me show you a few other things that are really interesting. So first of all, uh, for choice, I can have multiple choices right here. You can see radio button choice. Okay. And I can specify the different choices. For example, main, sub main, and other main, sub main. Okay. And then I can make another field. For example, I made a new field that if you actually click on other, let me show you right here. So right now there's choice and how is our service. If you actually click on other, it's going to actually ask you to specify other. So how did I do that? Let's go right here. I create a new field called other, specify other, and I actually made it whatever field I wanted. And then I specified at the bottom, only show this if someone selected under choice. So I selected choice and they selected the option of other, for example, right here, other. If they select a different one, they can open something else. So you can all the you can make all these hidden things. You can actually make it a little bit smarter, or a little bit more um, full in your in your form setup. Okay. What elements do you have? What can you add that is actually in here? And I'm gonna quickly go over some of them. You can add headings, just text and paragraphs. Obviously, single lines are the things you want customers to put. Multiple lines, maybe they can specify a lot of information. Uh, this is even a lot more information. Passwords, drop down menus you saw, radio buttons you saw, check boxes, multiple choice things, dates, uh, file and image uploads I think are pretty common. Email, it'll validate if it's a valid email, have to have something at something dot something, right? Uh, it'll actually verify that you're inputting a URL. You can actually put some HTML code. It'll validate an address. It'll have a review. For example, you can rate something. Um, and it'll require a signature. That's good for other things. For example, if you legally are required or your business requires a signature from the customer. Um, and then images, you can display images and other things inside. It's really, really nice. Okay, so what other things are very, very important for this that I think you guys uh, would like? So um, let's jump into it right here. Uh, another thing is if you want to secure, if you get a lot of spam forms filled out, you would actually want to turn on the CAPTCHA. So you would have a CAPTCHA which actually has this thing say, are you a human? Click here or fill out this thing. Or if the AI or if Google thinks the CAPTCHA is, um, if, if it is a human, it won't even ask anything. If they're doubting in any way, it'll actually pop up something to select some pictures, etc. I think you guys are aware of that. Let me go to reCAPTCHA. You'll basically see you know, something like this or something like this. You guys are familiar with this kind of stuff, okay? Okay, next one. What else is important? You can customize what happens. Let's go right here. Okay, so after submission, right? So after um, someone fills out the form successfully, what message do you want them to, to receive, right? Where do you want the message? Or do you want them to redirect to another page, for example, thank you page or something like that? Okay, great. Uh, other than that, you can also uh, specify a tracking code. If you want to track this in Google Analytics, you want to make an event or something like that, you can also specify that as well right here. Okay. Uh, for example, after script or depending, you have different ways depending on what way you want to gather the event. Okay. You can customize the design a little bit. Um, you can uh, specify some CSS. You can simply change some colors and alignments and things like that, borders, etc. Now the last thing, and this is, this is one of the best things you can do uh, with uh, the form is when someone submits the form, they actually, the business will get an email. You can also send an email to the customer. And most importantly, you, the, all the submissions are actually stored and saved in the system in the back end. So you can see how many people filled out or how many uh, forms were filled out, how many responses. And if you go here, you can actually show the responses and you can keep all of them here. You can see them, you can see the basic information and you can see the full detail right here. And very nicely, you can actually export it for Excel or CSV. And you can open in Google Drive or your Excel, etc. That's a really good thing. Um, other than that, in the forms, you can also uh, specify, you know, what's the content of the emails that get sent to the business, what, and you can send it, a, you know, a thank you email to the customer. You can specify that in the edit. You can make multiple forms, etc. And how do you attach a form to a, a specific page? There's a few ways. Number one, you can just go to the form and you can click here on this insert short code to a page. You can specify your page right here and then it'll insert it. If not, you can actually copy the code and you can actually insert, excuse me, right here. You can copy that. You can insert it to your page. What is a page? If you go to online store pages, 
any of the pages here you can actually put it you can actually put it in other pages as well but this is the simple simplest way you can go to wholesale click on code and you can actually go and paste it and save of course okay um, but the other way is a little bit easier for most of you if you're not a developer okay um, that's it pretty much so I hope you guys enjoy this video this is here for you guys to, to make your websites better your Shopify stores better again if you have any questions about this or anything in particular about forms about how to use Shopify ask in the comments subscribe share if you like it say hi we want to connect with you guys we want to help the world by making things more efficient teaching you quicker giving you things that you didn't know or you, you didn't know how to solve so we're here to do that much appreciated guys if you have any questions let me know thank you again